So we're playing through the Kent storyline right now, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I'd record my reactions to it and if it was anything worth doing. And we've spent a lot of time so far on the early stage with Bassim, and that's what's interested me. That's what I'm hoping for the London arc, this sort of thing alongside Bassim and then add the assassin elements. We're, we're getting it here separate to actually doing assassinations. It's fine, but I'm enjoying getting to know a hidden one and him talking about the creed and the way of life of the hidden ones. That's what I want Eivor to hear and him to be drawn to that because I want him to become an assassin. That's it's Assassin's Creed. That's what I want. So thought let's record the reaction to this. Let's let's get amongst it. Always on the move. No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home. No place I call home. No. Red. For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one. Unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. The sun. I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry. As him. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend. A mentor. A man. I would trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. Oh, fuck. He took all I had. All I had. That right there, though, that right there, that fireside ch chat scene, that's the stuff I love to see. That's what Darby and his writing team bring to the table here. That's what I'm looking for. Real deep character development with our protagonist, with a hidden one. Like, that, that's the shit right there. That's the shit right there. Here we go. Another battle awaits us. Our first siege into Wessex. Let's go, boys. Let's go, you fox. Charge in. One more big hit. Cleared it. 
get it through. Charge it! Go! Oh, okay, one more. One more. Tevin's a savage. Kill me, and all of Wessex will rise against you. Bruce is the will not fall to you, rabid pack of mongrels. Come on, man. What's gonna happen? You got no hope in this. Oh, he's got two of them. He's dual wielding now. Come on, take one more shot in there. Oh, he's done. I need, I need oh, shit. Shit. He's having a panic attack. He's having a panic attack. Dead. The work of what? poison, no doubt. No, 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 no. Rouse the man. He cannot be dead. He must not be dead. Poison. How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe. Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. <laughs> These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find Fulke ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's Abbey. Cunebert, your guests have arrived. Holy fuck, the bitch is here. Come. Supper's ready. Well, he's dead. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in what with that the lie. Fuck are you talking about? Your words are vile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is 
delicious, Trinibert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Maybe. I need that key. Let's go, Basson. Let's get the fuck out of here. Basson, where you at? Come on, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Folke let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be. But it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come, let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. Give me a hand with this. Come on, Basson. <coughs> Help me open the fucking door, you can't. What are you doing? <coughs> huh? Get up and help me. Give me a hand over here. I guess not, hey. I guess fucking we're not doing that. Better this way anyway. We need that key. Look, a distraction. This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. Then let us go. Two arms! This is the place. Oh, that was a miss. Which Sigurd is within. So if you also give us the key, that'll be great. Oh shit. Shit's about to go down. Shit's about to go down. Soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Ava's panicking. Anything else? Documents of interest to the hidden ones. Hyden will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim, she severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. 
So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tebman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Fuck, that was his arm? Are we sure that was his arm? I don't know, that's fucking... Fucking fuck, eh? Need to kill that bitch. So ladies and gentlemen, that was the Kent story arc, my reaction to it. Another really good one. They're, they're getting stronger and stronger, these arcs, I feel. And with your reoccurring characters, spending time with Bassam and getting to know him was amazing. The, some of the stealth infiltrations you got to do um, during this arc was also really fun. I really enjoyed that a lot. And man, the story's getting good. I mean, it's already been good, but... I like where this is going. I like this overarching narrative, the Sigurd stuff, the Bassam stuff, and Eivor, and Order of the Ancients, and can't wait to learn more. So yeah, we go on. See you next time.